starting with Facebook ads and feeling a little bit lost, looking for the Facebook ads manager, tune in. This is the video for you. I'm going to go into it super simple, super clean. And by the time you're done with it, you'll be ready to launch those campaigns. Let's get into it. So the easiest way that you're going to be finding here is where the Facebook business manager currently is. So as simple as you need to be, let's go to Google, Facebook business manager. Come on incognito because I already have a couple business managers already set up. So that'd be the easiest one for here. Now if you get down, you can click any one of these ones really. I try not to charge them a little bit of an ad. I'm an ad guy, I want them to feel better. You can see I'm already prompted, I'm already in it. So I'm gonna go back for us real quick, just to see if I can go to create a business manager. I'm gonna create this business manager. It's gonna give me to this help support center. So I'm gonna make sure I go to Facebook or business.facebook.com forward slash overview. This way it should give us a fresh new create an account setup. Why we need a business manager? This to me is probably the bigger question that we need to solve. So you could either be a brand owner, you could either be somebody that's just wanting to start running ads on behalf of other people. That's totally fine. A business manager is just a little bit more of a safer way of sharing logins and credentials and giving people access, the, the amount of access that they need to your Facebook account, to your actual Facebook manager. Um, and you don't want to be sharing and giving away your passwords. You know, you want to keep that, make sure it's as protected as possible. So a couple of things is if you need more than one ad account, right? Everybody gets a handful. You only get about four overall business managers before you have to start deleting them, which is something that just to make sure you keep in mind. Not many people are going to run into this. I have many because we have multiple businesses, but for you, one is just more than enough. Um, you can start requesting access to different pages. You can start requesting access to different brands or companies that you want to work with. Uh, it does a lot of great things and you get a little bit more information on how things are actually working. So going to create the ad account here, you can go ahead and start naming it. So I'm going to do Nick test your account, your name, of course, and then your business email. Nick at, go ahead and submit that. I'm going to fast forward into an account that I already have. I already have this account. So once it props it in, I'll show you what that does look like on the next tab. So now I'm in, as you can see, this is what your business manager will look like. You have five different areas on, uh, on the left side. You have a little of your updates and information on your current ad accounts that you have set up. So I already have one set up here. I'll show you what you need to be finding out beforehand. We always refer to this as the, the hamburger menu. So if you hear me talk about the hamburger menu, um, it is the most important area for your current business. I'll talk about just the key elements we need right now. I'm not gonna go too deep in this, but right now we are in the hub. We are in the back end. This is where the business manager is. High five, you found it. I will go into business settings. From business settings, there'll be a couple of different things that you wanna be playing with in, in terms of sharing access, granting access, adding people into it, adding employees, adding other partners. I and mean, that goes with as simple as where we're at. So under users, you have people, partners, and system users. You'll be floating around and keeping primarily access to people and partners. So if I were to invite one of my employees, it would be Nick at structure.agency. Give them employee access. If you give them admin, that means they're gonna have full control over finances, depending on where they are, what level they're at in your current company. Maybe you, you wanna have them have this or you don't. Then you'll be able to assign them various pages for your business, your company. I only have one here. You'll be able to pen this. I'm gonna select that. What is the depth in which they want to be working on that page? Do you want them just publishing content? Do you want them activating or communicating within the community? Do you want them sending messages on your behalf? Do you want them creating ads? Generally, it'll look like this creating ads, publish content, manage page. You want your main employees or the people on your team to be able to have full access here. So you don't have to go back. There's not too much that they can really get their hands into other than obviously publishing content that you may or may not want to go live. Um, that's something that you can't control. Obviously people will, will do what they do, but uh, no real harm here. Next would be your overall ad accounts. We'll be able to show you how to make an ad account real quick. For this one, this is the one that we've selected. Same thing. Easiest way is to manage campaigns and view performance. And unless you don't want them touching finances or uploading credit cards or uh, lines of credit, just keep the full control unhooked. I think it's good enough for right now. Then you go to your catalogs, which will be pulling directly into Shopify. We'll tell you how to set that up in a further video. Right now, we want to just make sure we give them on the main video or main catalog specifically. Want them to manage that, be able to create those ads. Apps, nothing important here. Pixel, Pixel will be the main way of communicating what is happening and how it's happening on your businesses. Uh, this is the brain. This is the data. This is how we're able to build audiences off of this. 
view pixel and manage pixel in case they need to create some custom conversions or move it around if they ever have to have that opportunity. And then invite it. It's not as invited, they should get a prompt. And if they don't get it, something that people don't use too much of, um, you can, if you hit resend, it's not super straightforward, but if you hit resend and all of a sudden it gives you this one specific link, if you just send them this individual link, they'll be able to log in directly from that link. Sometimes it might go into a spam or it doesn't get quick enough and you want it to really happen quickly. Um, this is an easy way of just grabbing it real quick, slacking it, emailing it, sending it to them, texting them to them, much quicker. The next place is partners. So you have an agency or you have another partner that needs to run the ads on your behalf. You've already set up your ad account. We want to share that to somebody else. This is where you'd be doing that. So if I were to add it and give access to your assets or ask your partner to share the assets, we as the brand would be giving it to the partner so that they can manage it on our behalf. So I'll be giving it to them. your partner business ID. Easiest way I can explain for you to get this two different locations. First is right here. In that URL, it says business underscore ID equals this ID is the main one that we'd be giving to the other part of the other team. If you are working with a partner, partner ID, which I've already had to put into here, is right here. So you'd have to request from your partner, hey, I am wanting to give you access to it. Give me your partner ID, which at this point would be copy to this clipboard. And it's probably going to tell me I've already added this one in. So we're to give a partner access to your assets. Adding the new partner to allow them to access all the assets of your business would be right here. You put their partner ID in next and you're gonna be able to grant them access, kind of just like you just granted that employee access to things. Want them on a page? Yes. Want them on the pixel? Oh, catalog? Yes. Want them on the pixel? Yes. Instagram accounts? Absolutely. So you're able to give them the grant, the various accesses that they need. Well, you can see, well, why is it not giving me the ability to save the changes? Well, it's because you didn't give them all the permissions needed. Boom, catalog, manage it. Add accounts, manage it, pages, communicate. So now you're prompted, you can save it. Who are they? What's the relationship you want to denote? Now you want to be very clear on this because this is sometimes an issue if you aren't giving or aren't telling Facebook who these people are on your behalf. That is something that you have to be clear because say that business manager that you're sharing with has a ban across their accounts. You wanna protect yourself. You want them to be like, hey, we are not a part of that. We are our own business. We are keeping things above the line and we, we don't wanna be any sort of caught up with guilt by association if for any reason they do anything wrong. So structured acts as an agency for my business. So Facebook's aware, they know how this goes. Runs ads on my behalf, creates or manages audience for my business. Probably do all three of these. Cool, going to next. You have all necessary permissions to use data from sharing the pixel. You're just accepting it. Nothing too crazy. Go ahead and accept this and it's being shared. We've already given access to it. So this is why we're getting this prompt, but if they haven't had access previously, this would be awesome. But once they accept it, we will be good to go. That's the two main areas that I want us to notice. I'm gonna show you a couple more. So that way you're all good and loaded on this initial business settings walkthrough. Pages. So oftentimes your business will be associated with the pages in which you're running. So for this one, you do either uh, request access to a page that you already have. So for us, we already have brick market. Say I want to request access to an influencer and find that influencer. So if they're not in your business manager, you won't be able to kind of request it primarily. So you have to create a new one. This would be a simple prompt of what we wanted to add in for the company or the business. If you have multiple pages going, you can make as many pages as you really want. Um, but ideally, I would keep it to just your main page is talking about your business. So right here, since I've already made my, my pages, I'm not gonna go click through most of these things, but understand what you're at, right? We are a company, we're an organization or an institution. We're not a brand or a product. Um, so we would select company at this time, but I've already done that, so I'm not gonna go ahead with it. The next is your ad account. So we already have one made, but it's super simple because you're in the business manager. You can make a couple more if you need it. So as a new business manager, if I were to make a, a multiple ad accounts, you're going to have to request access to this. Right now, we don't have permission to make multiple ad accounts. This is just a limitation as new businesses start on Facebook. If you run into this, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, all you have to do is reach out to support. They'll be able to get you a new one. But right now, one ad account should be more than enough. Since we already have one made, 
Previously, you would be able to kind of go click, boom, add a new ad account, and you have your first one set up. Next would be, and last, your Instagram accounts. Just as before, go ahead and connect your Instagram account, instant access for you. Once these are all connected, your backend is pretty much set up to go. You won't really need to touch too many other areas here unless you're gonna start adding in pixels, adding in different Shopify stores and feeds for catalog. I'll be able to talk about this in another video, but for now, this is more than enough you need to get started. If you enjoyed the video or if you have any questions or further comments, I'll see you in the comments below. Peace. Hey guys, hope you're loving our videos and that you're getting heaps of value from them. If you are, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to join the Founder Fam. If you did enjoy this video and want to continue to master your skills, make sure you click here to access your free training now. We will go into way more depth with this founder.